okay, trading is done for the day. Usually only trade three, maximum four hours. Didn't take any trading opportunities, but I thought I would share with you one trade I did take yesterday, and that was on Euro USD. I usually don't trade currencies. I mean, last year in 2021, I reviewed all of my trades and I was looking at my best performers and I noticed my top five trading pairs were not even currencies. It was the US 100, gold, silver, the US 500, crude oil, UK 100. It was all indices, all CFDs. So I was like, hey, for the whole year of 2022 or for the first month or two, I'm going to only trade indices to see how I perform and I've done really well. But I did happen to take like my second currency trade. I just can't help it if I see a really good one. So I've only taken like three or four currency trades. And today was one of them. It was a really quick trade in and out. It was on Euro USD. Really standard trade, breaking downward trend lines, removing opposing pivot point zones, as well as having a really good imbalanced zone. The zone that I was trading had a very strong move to the upside. I really look for that in my zones when I trade is a very strong move to the upside, breaking trend, removing pivot point, opposing zones and then having price having a clean arrival the only thing it didn't really have was a clean arrival it was offering me like a two to one so i got out at a one to one it was just a really high probability based trade and i think like i only taken like one trade or two trades this week so i was probably pressured into it by myself i was like hey i gotta take a trade so that was one of the trades i did get out just managed the stop early managed the trade early my primary focus like i said is the industry it makes sense to focus on that type of stuff. I think a lot of people think they gotta look at 50, to 50 different pairs. And you know what, hey, if you're making all your money from three or four different pairs and the rest are losing you money, well then focus on the ones that are making you money, right? It's a lot easier for me as well. I can have six charts open on my MetaTrader and I can just look at that. I don't have to constantly be scanning through 100 different pairs. I just have my little chart layout. I'll show you that on screen and that's what it looks like. And I can see everything. I, I can see everything on the one minute, five minute, 15 minute price action. And I just trade that. So it's a little tip for you guys. So besides that, what am I else am I going to do? I mean, guys, I wanted to do like a day in the life and vlog type of stuff, but I've been chilling out here in El Salvador and I'm not the biggest fan of this. So what I'm going to do is just play different parts of my adventure over the last one month. You know, we went to a game in Costa Rica. We could talk about that. Costa Rica versus Canada. No, not Costa Rica. El Salvador versus Canada, the FIFA qualifiers, as well as El Salvador versus Costa Rica. I went to two FIFA qualifier games. Absolutely amazing. I would, the tickets for the Canada game, Canada versus El Salvador were 30 or $40. I think it was like 30, 30 bucks. And then I went to... Costa Rica versus El Salvador. And that was a really good game. I, I had a great time at that. $20 tickets. Costa Rica had to win that in order to qualify for FIFA. So they ended up winning that. I went to the game and I placed $20 on the game thinking, hey, I'm going to place my, my ticket on it. I think they're going to win. They got a lot to play for. El Salvador is out of the tournament. They're not qualifying. They're one of the worst teams. So I placed $20 and then I get back to look at my bet. And it turns out, I bet like $2 or 20 cents or something like that. So I screwed up the number I was supposed to bet because I was betting in Bitcoin. You know what I mean? But hey, you know what? I got a love for it. Great food, great game, good scoring game as well. Uh, that's definitely one of the perks of living right by the, the stadium. So hey, let me give you guys a quick tour. Let me give you guys a quick tour of the place I've been staying at here in El Salvador. We got the computer set up right there. We got two setups, man. We got two computers usually stream some baseball on there 600 bucks a month you can't complain let's look at the fridge i got nothing i got nothing to be honest i'm making this video and uh i gotta leave this country in like 24 hours so i'm just making this vlog so 600 bucks for a place like this you know great wi-fi tv cable everything can't complain absolutely amazing check out the bathroom oh gosh there it is. <laughs> Beautiful. Check out the view. You guys can see the city. Got a nice little hot tub out there. We got a pet turtle. The turtle's not out there today. There's the view of the city. Absolutely beautiful. Hey, that's a volcano. And uh, I actually went climbing on a volcano last weekend with a buddy. 
<laughs> I'm very disappointed. I feel like when I go up to that volcano, man, I just really want to look down and I want to see lava shooting out. It's about a 15 minute climb. You got to take a, an Uber to the top of the mountain. Then you got to walk 15 minutes to the crater up the hill. And when I got up there, I was a little bit disappointed because I feel like when I want to see a volcano, I want to see this thing just like shooting out with lava and stuff like that. But hey, I've always seen volcanoes from afar, but I've never seen a crater up close. So that was cool to see, but you know what? I gotta see it. I, I just gotta see a volcano shooting up, blowing stuff up in the air, you know? <laughs> but hey, those, those are my little weekend adventures I like to get on. Um, as well as since I'm living here in the city, I did a video on Bitcoin, surviving on Bitcoin for 24 hours. If you guys have not checked that out, that video, please check it out. It's doing really well right now. I'm getting a lot of uh, messages saying, hey, it was a great video. So I'm really glad that you guys are enjoying that. So check that out. That will be in the description below. Oh, and a quick side note, there was a giveaway I did for March Madness. March Madness, if you guys don't know, is a 64 team, single elimination college basketball tournament. And I did a giveaway and the winner gets a free, complete free access to the private group and Discord whole program and all that. Came down to the wire, it was absolutely amazing. One guy came back all the way and ended up securing the win in the semifinals. One guy had Kansas City to move on and then the other one had Villanova and of course Kansas City went on and so that guy pulled through and won. Uh, I've reached out to that guy, that guy hasn't reached out back to me so I'm waiting for him to reach out to me, I sent him a couple emails. So hey, if you're watching this video, get back to me and claim your prize. And actually that's how, I, during that whole March Madness, I was sports betting. And last year I did a vlog of sports betting the March Madness in Mexico. And I was, I recorded a whole video on that, but I'm not going to upload it because I was just like chilling here the entire time. It's not really a city you can go out and do anything too crazy. It's not even a country you can do too many stuff to be honest. And it's not like Mexico where I was in the casino, I was out and about doing all these things. So I'm not going to upload that, but hey, great job on my gambling. I think I, I took like 15 wagers on sports, on the games. I won like 65 or 70% of them. My two favorite bets, I'm just gonna keep it simple. My two favorite bets that I really liked is, I say it every year, is you take the number one seed versus the number 16 seed and you bet the number one seed to cover the spread. So usually it's like minus 20, minus 22, minus 23 or something like that. You bet the favorite to cover against the, the number 16 seed. And if they don't cover, well, you got four games to make that bet a winner. So then you lose that, you double up on the next game. You lose that, you double up on the next game. You lose that, you double up on the next game. Fun fact, it's, it's never failed. It's never failed. So next time you guys when March Madness happens, do place that bet. I mean, hey, it's your own money. Risk it. Got, got to be careful. Don't just risk dumb amounts of money. So, you know, have a bankroll of $500 and just place $20. It's a free $20 every time. And then one of my other favorite bets was when the first half is over, the over under first half is 74 or more, take the under because I went through all the games and I noticed 80% of the games are all under 74. And I was like, hey, this is a great bet. So I think it was like 85% of the games were all under 74 first half. And so every time it was the first half was over under 74, I was betting the under. And I'm telling you, you watch that game and it's just buckets, 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 buckets. And you're thinking, well, it's going to be like a, an 80 point half time. And they're like, no, you, you go look at the live betting and it's like 76. It's like, what's going on here? And you're like, all these guys have to do is go on a, a one minute cold streak and then you're in the money. It's break even again. So those are my two favorite bets, you know? Number one seed versus 16 seed, number one seed to cover. And then I, I like that when it's 74, bet the under. If you lose that, I don't know, double down on the next 74 that you see. It's a, it's a pretty good bet. I liked it. I was new to that one. But hey, I got to test that out that one out more. So hey, I'm we're going to end the vlog right here, guys. Awesome day in the life. You got to love it. Me just talking to the camera, showing you what I've been up to for the last month. We're on to the next country. The adventure of El Salvador has ended. Thank you guys so much. If you guys enjoy the traveling and trading, comment, like, subscribe. If you guys have any questions, let me know and I will see you in the next one. Cheers, everybody. Bye-bye.